It's an idea that could bring millions of dollars to Nashville. In his recent budget proposal, Mayor John Cooper announced the creation of an Office of Music, Film and Entertainment. But as News Channel 5's Olivia Michael explains, city leaders are at odds about how the new office should look. As Nashville continues to grow and evolve, it's becoming known for more than just music. Now city leaders are hoping to capitalize on that. Metro Council member Joyce Stiles says the proposed Office of Music, Film and Entertainment could open a new door to Nashville's future. Of course, everyone knows us as Music City USA for our songwriters and for music, but we have film companies, television production companies, we're doing documentaries, there's also video gaming that's being done here, virtual reality. It would be within the mayor's office, but Stiles argues a 15 member commission is needed to oversee that office. So the way that uh, I am proposing is that six members would be appointed by council, four by the mayor, and then five by the general industry. And out of that remaining five, one would be a representative from the unions. It's layer upon layer of political hierarchy that historically has failed every single chance it's it's had. Robert Swope disagrees. First off, you should never plant this office in the mayor's office. Case in point, we've been through three mayors in the past four years. There is zero continuity in this. The council member thinks the office should fall under the Chamber of Commerce or Convention and Visitors Corporation. His commission would be a board of nine professionals in the financing and distribution of TV and film. It's not about bringing the next single movie to Nashville just because we could do it, right? Wrong. It's about how do you bring studios to Nashville knowing full well that they're interested in what they're going to release two years from now. Despite their difference of opinions, they both agree. Nashville has missed out on entertainment opportunities in the past. I think people should want to support this because it's more money coming into town. And entertainment, as we all know, in this city is a big revenue generator. Now this could mean big business and big money for Nashville's future. Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. The legislation will be heard again at the council's July 5th meeting.